Okay, everyone, let's take a look at chapter 10, AC generators. This will be AC generator components. AC generators consist of field windings, an armature or coil, slip rings, and brushes. Field windings are used to produce the stationary field in a generator. This will be AC generator types. In a single phase AC generator, as the armature rotates through 360 degrees of motion, the voltage generated is a continuously changing AC sine wave. A three phase AC generator has three equally spaced armature windings 120 degrees out of phase with each other. When the six leads of a three phase generator are brought together, they are connected in a delta connection or a Y connection. A common neutral wire can safely connect the internal leads of a Y connected alternator to form a common return for lighting loads. The three phase voltages of a Y connected alternator effectively cancel each other out at the neutral point, allowing the three leads of the alternator to be connected. Vectors can be used to illustrate the magnitude and direction of AC generator output voltages. In Y connected systems, the neutral wire is connected to the ground and has various available voltages. A delta connection has each coil connected end to end to form a closed loop. Vectors may be added to find the sum of currents and voltages that are out of phase. A delta connected system permits different voltage possibilities. This will be voltage changes. Voltage changes in an electrical system may be categorized as momentary, temporary, or sustained. When taking measurements in an electrical circuit, transit voltages can cause electrical shock and or damage to equipment. A surge suppressor is an electrical device that provides protection for high level transits by limiting the level of voltage allowed downstream from the surge suppressor. Alright everyone, that was it for that session. Next session will be transformers and I'll see you over there.